fell face down. He laughed and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of ninety? Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? Then the word of the Lord came to him. He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Son of man, can these bones live? This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath into you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery, but Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, so obtaining eternal redemption. How much more then will the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God. And the star they had seen when it rose, went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.